Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angie from Burton Avenue and I want to show you how to make amazing things with your Cricut. Welcome back to another day of my 25 Days of Craftmas series, where I show you how to make 25 different Christmas projects using your Cricut. And I also share the SVG files I use to make all of the projects for free, so you can make them too. Last week, I shared a variety of Christmas countdown signs. And this week, I'll be sharing a variety of quick projects, projects that you can put together in 15 or 20 minutes after everything has been cut. It's day six, and today I'm showing you how to make this pretty mason jar candle holder. This is a great gift for family and friends and also makes a beautiful decoration for your own home. So let's go take a look at the supply list and get started. For this project, you're going to need a mason jar and I found the cute red one at the Dollar Tree. You'll also need Epsom salt, a votive candle, Mod Podge, hot glue gun and glue, Christmas embellishments, vinyl, jute twine, a scraper and weeding tool, transfer tape, and of course, your Cricut machine, a cutting mat, and the cut file. So grab your supplies and then head over to your computer. The first thing that we need to do is grab the SVG file that we'll be using for this project. You can get it for free on my blog at burtonavenue.com. I keep all the SVG files for the projects I make and share in my free SVG library. These files will work with all kinds of cutting machines and they're free to everyone. So once you're on my site, just go over and click on free SVG files and then free SVG library. You will need a password to get into the library and there are instructions on the screen if you need to get one. Once you're in the library, you can search for the file Peace and Joy. It will either be listed under the most recent projects and cut files or under the category Craftmas 2020 Day 7. You can also use your browser search to find it. Once you've found the file, go ahead and click on it, and the file will be downloaded onto your computer. Now when you download these SVG files, they usually come in a zipped folder, and you'll need to extract them before you can use them in Cricut Design Space. To do this, you need to go to the location where your downloaded files are saved onto your computer. Then find that zipped folder that we just downloaded and double click on it. You'll see a new window open and somewhere you should see an option to extract all or maybe unzip. Click on that and another window will open up and somewhere on here you'll see uh, the location where your unzipped files are going to be saved. You need to remember that location because you'll have to get to it once you're in Cricut Design Space. So go ahead and click on that extract button and those files will be unzipped and ready to use in Cricut Design Space. So now let's head over to Design Space and start a new project. Once you're on this canvas screen, Go over and click on that Upload button, and then click on Upload Image, and then click on Browse. Now you're going to want to go to that location where those unzipped files were saved. Once you find the folder, you can double click on it, and inside that folder you'll see there's a bunch of different file types. You want to select the SVG file. And sometimes the SVG files will show up on your computer as a Chrome HTML document or something similar. So if you don't see SVG file in this list, be sure to look for something like that. So select the SVG file and then click open. Make sure it's the file that you want to work with and then click save. Then select the file one more time and choose insert images. And now your design will appear on your canvas screen. So now we're going to resize this design so it will fit on our little mason jar. So I'm going to go up and change the width to two and a half inches and leave the height proportional. 
The last thing I'm going to do is right click and choose attach. And that will just keep all of these letters in place like we see them on the screen. So now go over and click on the green makeup button. And this screen will show us what our design is going to look like on our cutting mat. Then click on continue. And once Design Space finds your machine, you'll be taken to this screen. Make sure that the dial is set to vinyl and then go load your mat. Place a piece of white vinyl on your cutting mat and smooth it out so there aren't any wrinkles or bubbles. And then load it into your machine by pressing the up and down arrow button. Once your Cricut is ready to cut, you'll see the C button light up. Press that and the machine will begin cutting. Once it's finished, press the up and down arrow button again to unload your mat. Remove the white vinyl from your cutting mat and cut away any unused area of your vinyl sheet. Then weed away the excess vinyl. Use a weeding tool to pull out any of the tiny pieces inside of the letters. Now grab a piece of transfer tape that's a little bit bigger than your design and place it over the top of the vinyl. Trim off any excess transfer tape and vinyl backing. Then rub over the entire design with your scraper. Now flip the design over and pull off the vinyl backing. Then position the design onto your mason jar. Rub over the design with your scraper and then carefully pull off the transfer tape. Now the jar looks pretty like that, but we're going to add a few embellishments to make it look a little bit more like Christmas. Start by removing the wire hanger, then grab some Mod Podge and apply a layer around the outside rim of your jar. Then you can sprinkle some Epsom salt over the Mod Podge. If there are any areas that are bare, you can add a little more Mod Podge and then sprinkle some more salt on top. Now wrap some jute around the top of the jar a couple of times and then tie it in a bow. Use a hot glue gun to glue on some pine and berries to complete the jar. You can fill the jar with a little bit of Epsom salt and then add a little votive candle inside. And that's it. Another quick project you could make for Christmas. Thanks for joining me on another day of Craftmas. If you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to like and subscribe and you'll get notified each time I post something new. See ya!